Hey there everyone, today we're going to be doing another test with my ADT Unimode 10UD 10 Zone Conventional Fire Alarm Control Panel. As you can see I've swapped out some different alarms and different pull stations and I'm going to show you them today. First thing here we have a Pyrotronics BDC-624 audible bell. This thing is being coded to march time by the fire alarm control panel. The next device we have here is a visual Cooper Wheelock LSTW-NA. This is actually the box it came in and as you can see it is a Wheelock LED exceeder and it is set on 15 candela. This device was actually sent to me for free by Best Security Systems uh, last Christmas. So thank you very much for that. Finally going to get to use it. The final notification appliance that we're going to be testing today or should I say pair of notification appliances is this interesting setup right here. As you can see I have a Wheelock RSS fire alarm strobe only and it is mounted on a Siemens alert strobe plate and Siemens is just a rebrand of Wheelock well this device is at least. For pulse stations we have a CPG life safety signals double action pulse station and over on the right we have a Faraday F1 GT Chevron. I haven't used these two devices in a while. Right here we have an STI emergency push station. This emergency button is what activates the amber alert strobes. For today's test we're going to be testing just the three initiating devices that I showed you and we will start off by pulling the CPG Life Signals double action pull station. This is kind of an interesting pull station. To activate it you have to pull this little piece of plastic out. It's kind of like a little door to the pull handle and then you just pull this part down. So let me do that again. And this is activated. As you can see that was zone 1, zone 1 out of 10 on the fire alarm control panel. As you can see over here, only the fire strobe is flashing as only a fire pulse station was pulled. This pulse station is extremely easy to reset. To reset it, you just simply insert the key in the top right corner and you twist it and the handle goes back up automatically and then you take the key back out and close the little plastic door. I'm going to be changing the coating of the bell so for now we can go ahead and reset the entire fire alarm system. And yes, the alert strobe plate kind of blocks the enunciator a little bit, but it's okay, this is just a demonstration system. I went ahead and changed the notification appliance running to the bell as a two-stage setup. So basically, when a fire alarm device is activated, such as a pull station, the notification appliances will every once in a while make a noise. And the panel operator has, in this case, three minutes to either reset the system or if they don't reset it within three minutes, then they'll start making a lot of noise. So we can go ahead and pull it and see how it sounds. As you can see, when the pull station was initially pulled, it started off kind of doing a very slow march time kind of like pattern. And after three minutes, it turned into code three, which means evacuate now. Kind of an interesting feature. The Chevron pull station takes a hex wrench to reset, so we can go ahead and use it. Kind of a harder pull station to reset, especially since the the uh, screw in there is stripped a little bit. There we go. Now that everything's reset, we can go ahead and reset the main control panel. 
Now we'll demonstrate the general emergency amber alert strobes. These strobes can really be specified to any kind of emergency or non-emergency. It just depends on what the uh, organization of that building decides. So for example, the alert strobe could mean there is an attack, it could mean there's a chemical spill, it could mean you go into lockdown, it could mean a lot of diff different things. Heck, it could even mean that the back door is open. So we'll go ahead and in this case push the general emergency alert pull station and set them off. And I gotta say, the LED strobe and the alert strobe flashing at the same time kind of looks cool. The LED strobe is obviously a little bit more distinct in the camera as it's a little bit longer uh, time of a beam that it produces. And we can go ahead and reset the STI push station and reset the entire panel. And as you can see, I do have this wired as a supervisory. That's not really how it would be wired in a building, but since this is just demonstration, that's how I have it wired. And you can have custom messages. So for example, floor one entrance. Go ahead and reset the panel. Well everyone, I think that's plenty of testing for today with my ADT Unimode 10UD conventional fire alarm demonstration system. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.